about 200 pounds. We're working on that. Don't hate. I got full cheek coverage, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this little bike will go. And just so comfortable to ride. Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. I'm back with another electric bike review. This, as you can see, is the Ranger S. It's one of the latest bikes from a company called Hey Bike. I love the company. Hey Mike, hey bike, hey. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one because it comes with a lot of things you're not gonna find on other electric bikes at this price point. I'm excited about this. So, without further ado, let's unbox it. We will take it for a spin and we'll get back home and grade it on fit, form, and function. And I'll give you a discount code that will save you some money. is all put together i gotta say first off i love the color this ranger s right here is beautiful it is gorgeous yeah this is huge and first impressions well you have to take the battery out and down at the bottom there's a little red on and off switch so you turn that on and then you have access to this and i want to show you very quickly we'll go over all the features here in just a second but i got it this is a first okay we have turn signals now i've seen them in the back okay I've, I've had this in the back. I have never had a turn signal on the front. Look at that. That <laughs> is amazing. So you, you cancel it here and you can go to the other side if you're gonna be turning left. And that is really, really cool. Okay, let me get it out of the box. I will take it for a private spin very, very quickly and then we'll go over the features. But the fact that it has turn signals Front and rear, fantastic. Before we go on our little ride, let's talk about the features you get with your Hay Bike Ranger S. I love the uh, lettering right here. I love how it says Hay Bike right here, and I really love how it says Hay Bike right there. That is gorgeous. And yes, once again, turn signals front and back. Now, this is called Stone Blue. I chose this color because it is different, because it is gorgeous gorgeous look at the blue you get three other color options you can get a very nice looking merlot red it also comes in shark gray and metallic sand which is almost a gold color but those are four beautiful choices you have a 1200 watt peak motor right here providing a top speed of 28 miles per hour so this is a class 3 electric bike you have a 48 volt 14.4 amp hour battery hidden right there in the frame that provides a range of up to 55 miles. Of course, that's very little pedal assist. You're doing a lot of the work, but this will take you 55 miles, they say. 20 inch by four inch tires right there and a 400 pound payload capacity. So the bike weighs 72 pounds, which means you can weigh up to, what is it, 322 pounds and ride this bike. You can also put a person back here. Your rear rack will hold 120 pounds. You get a one year warranty. And like I said, once again, front and rear lights, tail lights and turn signal. So with that being said, I love all of this stuff right here too. Okay, so here you have your light. So we can turn on the light, show you what's going on. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. We've got the light in the back as well. There that is. You have your turn signals, which just cracks me up every time I use them. I think that is awesome. That is really awesome. You have um, your horn, which is very, very loud. Yep, and then you have your thumb drive. Woo, she wants to go. Yeah, she's in pedal assist five, so she really, really, really wants to go. Let's go ahead and take her out on a spin. This is the LCD display that you get right here. All kinds of information. Distance in miles, miles per hour right up here. Um, battery strength left. And I think this is going to be a fun little bike. So let's jump on and go take her for a cruise. All right, here we go. I love this. I love peeling the little plastic 
off of the parts. Yeah, I love that sound. I don't know why. I just think it's cool. I think this bike is cool too, to be honest. I love, love, love the color. So all the functions we have right here, like I said, headlight, turn signal, horn. This is your throttle right here. This auto, where it says auto, it has auto headlights, just like your car. So you can turn it off and you can turn it on. <laughs> I think that's incredible. Let's turn the lights off. We will start off in passenger assist. Let's go down. Passenger assist three. Here we go. Because it's a step through, so easy to get on. And we'll just, oh, well, she wants to go. She really does want to go. Okay, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice, or I can do throttle. I can do it like this all day long. Oh, okay. This seems to be pretty quiet as well. It really does. We'll do the brake test. Oh, okay. The brakes are nice. And you gotta watch out when you making those turns because this pedal assist will kick in and change things up for you. So we are in seventh gear. We're in top gear right here. And I'm already comfortable enough to stand up. Oh, this is nice. This is, I'm gonna call this almost a medium sized bike. So it's gonna fit smaller riders and taller riders. I've tested much smaller and I felt really cramped. I don't feel cramped on this. And these brakes, these are hydraulic brakes, 180 millimeter is the rotor. Um, this is the hill where we test our suspension. So let's just kind of go down here. And can we talk about the saddle or the seat of the bike already? It's a wider saddle and I'm loving it. I got, I got full cheek coverage, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like it. This could be one of the most comfortable seats I've sat on, to be honest. And look at the suspension, just soaking up the bumps. And this road is terrible. And I go through the rough spots just to test out the suspension. You got a lot of travel in that front fork. You really do. So it's gonna give you a lot of comfort. Okay, nice. Now because we're in traffic, let's turn on my right turn signal, <laughs> which is fantastic. And we'll get down here, turn it off. Okay, now we've come to Torque Hill. So we're gonna go to passenger assist five. We'll come to a dead stop. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know that anything, let me kind of tilt this down a little bit, anything above 12 miles an hour on here is going to be good, okay? Yeah, this is a good shot, okay. Some bikes have done it in 14, 18. I had a dual motor that did it in 20 something. Um, anything above 12 is a passing grade for this. I'm not pedaling, this is all the battery on the bike. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. 14, 15, 16, 17, 16, 6, 15, 7. Oh, she's going to do great, I can tell already. She's very torquey. Hi. 15 miles an hour, 14. Oh, she's already passed. Yeah, this little bike will go. She will absolutely go. Fourteen point six, solid as a rock, all the way up here. Nice, and you can see how we're kind of using the battery. Fifteen miles an hour. We're going to call this like thirteen point six, so that's way above twelve, and more than enough to get a passing grade. Now we're just going to go kind of have some fun. We're going to just enjoy the bike a little bit. I'm enjoying that suspension.
Look at this. This saddle is fantastic. My rear is having the most fun. <laughs> of all my body parts, my rear is having the most fun right now. <laughs> okay. I'm loving this thing. Here we go. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh, this is kind of cool how you can change your LCD screen. So if you push this M, this power button, you can get the motor wattage, you can get the distance, you can get the odometer. See how this is changing? That's really cool. Here, let's use my turn signal here. We're gonna turn to the right, see if this guy can see my little blinker. <laughs> he didn't seem too happy about it. I don't care, I love it. Cancel the turn signal. Continue the fun. Whoa. Yeah, she will go. This is 22 and it's like nothing. It's really like nothing on this thing. Do the full throttle. Come back. Oh my goodness. This is really, really nice. Let's see if we can turn around right here. And look out for the road. You know, when you hit the throttle, the rear of the bike kind of hunkers down a little bit like a car does when it launches, which tells you how torquey this thing is. I tell you what, this is literally the perfect size bike. It is, for me, it's absolutely perfect. I love the grips. You get a little more meat right here for your hands. I love where everything is. I love it has automatic headlights, brake lights, turn signals, a nice top speed, and just so comfortable to ride. This electric bike market is really starting to heat up. We're getting more and more manufacturers and jumping into the game, but Hay Bike absolutely has a winner with this one. This Oh, it's just, it just fits perfectly. All right, if you are interested in the Ranger S from Haybike, I can't tell you how much I love the name of the company right there. On the website, they have it marked down from $14.99 to $12.99. But because you're watching this video right here, I'm going to save you $100. They've given me a discount code to pass along to you. So if you use MWM 100, you'll save $100, which brings this down to $1,199. That, I think, is a great buy for a bike that just seems to do everything so well and is just so perfectly sized. I mean, it really, really is. It is just perfect for me. I'm 5'9", um, about 200 pounds. We're working on that. Don't hate. Um, and it fits, it really does. It just fits everything perfectly. And because it's a step through, you can be way taller, you can be way shorter. And like I said, total capacity is 400 pounds. So you can be a very large person and still enjoy this Ranger S electric bike. This is nice. Uh, once again, we have that Shimano seven speed gear system that is crisp, everything works perfectly on it. So I highly, highly recommend <laughs> the Ranger, the Ranger S. Let's get her back to the house and we will grade her on fit form and function. Let's go ahead and grade this on fit form and function. Fit, how well the bike went together. It was packaged great. It really, really was. As far as putting the bike together, when you have to attach the handlebar, sometimes that can be a little difficult. And because you had to remove a collar on here and then tighten up this part of the bike without letting this part of the bike come out. It was, I'm gonna say, a medium difficulty kind of a task. Um, I haven't had to do that on a lot of bikes. A couple of them I have, but most of them I have not. And for me, I didn't like that experience at all. Everything else came together real, really, really well. Of course, it's easy to attach the pedals right here. It's easy to put the saddle on. This was already attached, but this right here was 
more than um, a lot of bikes ask you to do when putting it together. So we're gonna give it a B as far as fit. Form though, the way it looks, the headlight right there that you can turn off and on is fantastic. I love it. The fact that it's a step through bike, super, super great and the color is gorgeous. All of the colors are absolutely phenomenal. So we're gonna give it an A on form. Function, how much fun I had on the bike, we're gonna give it an A plus because I had a ball. This seat right here, take a look at this. This is huge, it is padded, it is gorgeous and it is so, so comfortable. My rear end never got tired at all. You can put things on the back right here. You can get a basket on the front for $79. You can actually get an attachment to put your pet in the basket on the front for $79. <laughs> and they have saddlebags you can get for $79 as well. So there are some accessories that you can add to make this even more stylish, all right? We're gonna give it, as far as function, an A plus, like I said. Overall, we're gonna give it an A because this was fun, fun, fun. I think this is a great bike for you. Use that $100 discount code MWM100. It'll knock the price down to $1199 and you get a one year warranty with your new Ranger S electric bike. All right, folks, have a great day. I'm gonna go spend some more time on this super comfortable saddle right here, riding the bike, having some fun and making this Saturday just, woo one to remember, okay? Monkey Wrench Mike saying, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.